In the beginning of this year, the two Koreas seemed much more eager and willing to talk to each other, but things uh, turned quite cold when North Korea virtually rejected South Korea's offer for talks, giving Seoul a set of preconditions instead. Our Connie Kim spoke to some of the experts uh, to hear what they see in terms of inter-Korean talks in the coming months. Since South Korea proposed high-level talks with the North late last month, the two Koreas have been unable to narrow their differences over a set of preconditions laid out by Pyongyang. Experts say that while the momentum for dialogue appears to have been lost, they're optimistic that talks could eventually resume, given policy goals in Seoul and Pyongyang. On the South Korean side, President Park Geun-hye wants to see progress in her trust-building process as she enters her third year in office. And North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, in his fourth year in power, wants to ease the economic hardship in the country by ending its diplomatic isolation. Experts also say, however, that both sides may have to wait until after a round of military drills between Korea and the U.S., scheduled for March, a halt to which was on Pyongyang's set of preconditions. I would not expect any serious talks during the drills. Uh, indeed, once it begins, everything will be frozen for a while. If nothing is heard until the, the beginning of these exercises, it means that the situation is likely to remain frozen. But, well, maybe if, even in this case there will be more contacts after the, uh, after the exercises end. Others suggest the talks could occur even before the drills. The North will ramp up pressure on the South until mid-February, but could then propose inter-Korean military talks to seek the scaling down of the drills or other political gains. Pyongyang has long used inter-Korean talks when it wants to break out of its diplomatic isolation. Underlining its efforts to mend ties with the outside world, Kim Jong-un has reportedly accepted Russia's invitation to visit Moscow in May for an anniversary of its victory over Nazi Germany in World War II. There is also speculation Kim might head to Indonesia to attend the Pandung Conference of Non-Aligned Asian and African Countries in April. Kim's grandfather and the regime's founder Kim Il-sung attended this event back in 1965, and the younger Kim has a track record of modeling himself after his grandfather. Connie Kim. Arirang News.